Hey everyone, it's your girl Gossip Queen, and today we're diving into something serious. The looming threats in the cyber world, specifically here in the US of A. We're talking digital danger zones, people. Think about all the stuff we do online. Banking, shopping, sharing our thoughts, all of that stuff, it's vulnerable. Over the next few minutes, we're going to unpack cyber attacks, data privacy, misinformation, things that sound like they're straight out of a sci-fi movie but are actually happening right now. So buckle up, grab your thinking caps, and let's get informed, people, because knowledge is power, and we need all the power we can get in this digital age. Okay, let's start with the big scary one, cyber attacks. We're talking hackers, viruses, malware, all that fun stuff. And it's not just some dude in his mom's basement anymore, we're talking sophisticated operations, sometimes even backed by foreign governments. These attacks can cripple businesses, shut down power grids, steal your identity, it's basically digital chaos. Remember that time a few years back when a major gas pipeline got hacked and caused fuel shortages across the East Coast? Yeah, that was fun. And it's not just big companies or the government that are targets. Think about all the personal data we put online, our addresses, credit card numbers, even our social security numbers. It's like we're leaving a trail of digital breadcrumbs for the cyber criminals to follow. Strong passwords, two-factor authentication, being aware of phishing scams. These are just a few basic steps we can take to make ourselves less vulnerable. Because the truth is, cyber attacks are becoming more common and more sophisticated every day. And the more we rely on technology in our lives, the higher the stakes become. Okay, let's talk about data privacy, or the lack thereof. Remember that whole, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product thing? Yeah, that's basically the internet in a nutshell. Every time we use a website, an app, or even just browse the internet, we're generating data. And that data is valuable. To companies who want to sell us stuff. To advertisers who want to target us with ads. And yes, even to governments who want to keep tabs on us. Think about all the information you willingly give up online. Your location, your browsing history, your contacts. It's kind of creepy when you think about it, right? And it's not just our online activity that's being tracked. We need to start demanding more transparency from the companies we do business with and from our government. Because the truth is, our data is valuable, and we should have a say in how it's collected, used, and shared. All right, time to get really serious for a minute. Cyber warfare, it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's a very real threat. We're talking about nations using digital weapons to attack other nations, disrupting infrastructure, spreading propaganda, and even influencing elections. Remember that whole thing a few years back with Russia 